we have a new visualization type in the data visualizer application, it's outlier tables. So important to note, gone are the days where you had excuses for not finding outliers. Every DHIS2 instance, every database in the world has outliers. Data quality issues are a fact of life. Our responsibility is to be able to capture those and correct those. Uh, it is not a failure of the database to have data quality issues. It is, a, it is your failure to let the data quality issues persist. And we are trying to, <laughs> just to be blunt, you're going to have data quality issues. But we have to make sure that we have the tools and we have the know-how to be able to address those data quality issues as they come in and fix them. Again, most countries are being plagued by the persistence of outliers in the database. Outliers throw off your national uh, key impact indicators. And some, in many cases, they can really throw them off quite severely. So we wanted to make it extremely easy for you to capture these outliers, find them, let DHIS2 be smart enough to automatically detect them, and then you have a list of them that you can go in and, and, uh, and correct. I also just want to point out, this brings us up to feature parity with the WHO data quality app that's been around for quite a while. Um, uh, we have all of the visualization types that were presented in that application. Now in the data visualizer application, they can also be put onto the dashboard. So let's go back to our demo. All right, so I'm just going to go to my uh, chart types. I'm going to choose outlier table. I'm just going to go ahead and leave these data elements turned on, click update, wait a few seconds, and here are all of my outliers. So you can see I have my data column. So I can see that this is for a uh, doses given. I can see if it has a category option combination disaggregation. I can see for which month, I can see for which health facility, I can see the value that was recorded, so 13,000, uh, yeah, 1,314. I can see the median that is usually captured, which is 13.5. So you can see why this is an outlier. 1,314 is way bigger than 13.5. And then you can also see my modified z-score if you're into the math, uh, your absolute deviation, and your min and max. And you can see here that we're sorting by value. We can sort by any of these columns. If you wanted to see just the top 10 outliers for your data, you can go to options. You can go to um, uh, data tab. And you can say, um, right now I'm showing 20. I can show 10. And here are my top 10 outliers for these data elements. You can, of course, put this, you can save this, put this on a dashboard, and then you can start pushing it out. And you can make sure that everybody can find their outliers. Okay?